to everyone this is Joanna and this is going to be my third and final video of my Bath and Body Works collection that I would like to share with you I found some more of my items some of the things that were single pieces or just a few and I think I hope I have picked out everything that I have not showed you already so what we're going to start with here I guess I'll go along the back and lay these down um, I have the frosted coconut snowball this was this past holiday collection and in this I was able to get the um, cream the glitter sparkle scrub and the mist because I wasn't sure a lot of people kept saying this smelled like something else and I wasn't sure myself I went in and out about the shower gel and then it eventually sold out so that's why I don't have it here I don't think I even got my hands on a mini version next here we have cocktail dress I only got this I did want the spray and then I changed my mind and then we have a thousand wishes I think I might have gotten that free I had the spray and gave it to my cousin I wasn't sure about that scent and I wasn't sure that I liked it but I don't completely hate it here we have the Morocco orchid and pink amber I believe I got that at a semi-annual sale um, and as you can see the tag is still on a lot of this stuff I haven't used it this one I think I might have taken off because I tried it on my hand I have the almond and honey and that's why I didn't get the new honey scrub and like I said this version of scrub is not exactly my favorite because the oil in it can go bad and smell funny I will generally still use it but I kind of like the foaming kind better the kind that lather up like the ones that came out in the um, watermelon and lemonade collection we have pink hibiscus when they put these out one summer they put out soaps and shower gels but they didn't put out any lotion this one and the um, honey almond one here almond sunflower was one of my favorites this one just smells fresh and creamy um, and I like it a lot so this one I like and I actually put it up so I wouldn't use it up but I plan on using those with just my unscented lotion I also have a um, fig body cream I believe I ordered this in an order that I got as far as minis I have an into the wild lotion because I didn't really like the lotion at all it smelled like heat to me for some reason um, so I didn't buy it but I did end up getting this little one here and I will use this then here we have um, I have some true blue spa this is the foot cream I might have another one here somewhere these are pretty good I've given these to people as a gift they made a scrub for the feet with one of these and I think when I got this I got my friend one I know I got her a three-piece set and then I got this right here it smells really nice and these are really really moisturizing and I got this I don't know if this is pronounced kawaii but I know it's lay flower I know when this line came out this particular scent all went on sale for seven dollars when nothing else did that particular summer so I'm going to move some of this back and out the way because I don't really have any bags to put this into today I got a lemon cello because I wasn't sure I wanted it and I went ahead and got the lotion it was for free and something that I bought I have a forever beach days I thought that I had the shower gel and I did not from this year's Christmas collection I got the fresh sparkling snow because I kind of like that mint scent but I wasn't completely sure that I did and I didn't want to miss out so I did get this I thought that I had bought a shower cream if I did I can't find it but I don't remember so here a little mini set that I have was the rain kiss leaves I hated this when it first came out and then it grew on me I told everybody it smelled just like someone ripped a leaf open and smelled it and it was very pungent and strong but I love the hand soap in it first and then I gave the mini body care a try and when it dried down I really liked it a lot let's see another mini that we have I think there was a mini lotion to this I don't know if I used it up or not and there is a bar of soap and I'm trying to see if I see it here I don't know if I could find it or not but I had this in the lotion the soap and this little spray this came out I think one Mother's Day it was a very very strong fragrance too I do have the hand cream that I'm currently working on now and then as far as some more minis here I don't remember if I showed you this one I'm thinking that I might have because I made a comment that I had the mini spray and I think I had the mini lotion and I had two Hawaii lotions so I think I might have shown that so if I did I apologize but I don't fully remember 
an older mini that I have is Fiji Passion Fruit. I actually went through a whole bottle of this and people said they could smell it like in the hall but not very strongly. They really did like it. I have this mini set here that I won from uh, Mrs. MKB Lady. I don't remember if there was a shower gel but I do know where I got this from. I didn't see it so it wasn't in my bathroom but this smells really really good and I was so happy to win it because it was a set that I missed out on purchasing that year. We have a Country Chic. I didn't even know I had this until a couple months ago. I have a small Be Joyful, and I thought I had the spray to this, but I didn't find it, so I probably didn't. I wasn't sure if I liked this either, but I got the little one, and I have not, I don't think, touched either one of these. Here we have um, Vermont Honey Apple. This smelled really good, but all I was able to get was that little one. Um, we have... Tiki Mango Mai Tai. I got this last summer. I wasn't sure I liked it, but I didn't mind having it in the lotion. And here is um, the Hawaii. So I did have an aloe gel. I was trying to use this up and then I stopped because I kind of got tired of the scent. This right here was an item I was targeting this past winter to use up. It was the Aspen Caramel Woods. This has been the biggest dent in a spray that I have ever had. And I did like this. I regretted that I did not buy a large one. And the only things I had left in this, because I bought minis. I think I had the full-size lotion. I didn't get the cream. Um, but I was sorry that I didn't get a big spray, the cream, and another lotion. Because I really did like this scent. But this again... These go bad, and like I said, I don't really like these scrubs, but I have bought enough of these to where I'm trying to target a lot of these and use them up. I love this for the fall, but I will probably spray it um, this spring just to try to get it out of the way. I've been trying to target things for a week at a time. I try to target some things for the days I'm working and some for when I'm at home. This is a small Paris um, body lotion. I had a lot of these around here. I guess I was buying them and forgetting Um and I didn't really use it that much to begin with. Some more True Blue Spa. I have a Shea Cashmere Hand Cream. I love this when it first came out. This right here, I have an aloe gel to it, but I can't find it. This is a scrub. I have not used this one, and it was um, Raspberry Margarita Body Scrub. It kind of smelt the way that a raspberry lip balm I had years ago smelt to me, and I really liked it and enjoyed it. I have Vanilla Super Rich Body Cream. This is True Blue Spa. Very, very thick. If you like a nice thick cream in the wintertime, this is great. But it's not for people that don't like the cream sitting on top of their skin. I actually like that. Um, here is the Hand Cream in the Unscented. This is something I need to keep in my purse because I don't have it in there. But I love using that hand cream. We have the Lay It On Thick. This is another product that I would keep in my shower in the wintertime to use with the regular Lay It On Thick. I would have this cream and this right here. This is the Fragrance Free Lay It On Thick so that my son could use it too. And he was as young as about six when I was buying this, maybe five going on six. This was something, this is something your whole family can use. Um, the men in the house and everything. And it's very nice. Great on those freezing cold winter days and it lasts a long, long time. This was something I ended up getting two of because I thought I would like it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't go through this like I thought I would, and I have two of them. These do go bad after a while. They take on a funny scent, but I use this on my heels. Anywhere you have rough areas, your knees, your heels, your elbows, these are good for that. Plus, it can be used for cuticles. I use it still. And then we have the rub. There's the rub. This is one of their few original ones. And you can see I've had this sitting in areas where it's sticky. But this is a really nice scrub and it smells fresh. Um, and I got it because of reviews. And I'm trying to see. I'm going to show you the soaps. As far as bar soaps, I cannot find my Enchanted one, but I have one. I love these when they came out. They didn't keep these out long, but they weren't very fragrant. But they felt really nice on the skin. This one right here, I think you can find this particular brand in um, TJ Maxx now because they had the shower gels, but this was sold by Bath & Body Works when I bought it. And it smelled really good. It had like a watered honey scent. It was hard to explain, but it was really, really fresh, and I love it. The shower gel to this, when I first bought the shower gel and lotion, I used it up before I knew it. Here are some bar soaps. I bought each one of these that came out that year. 
and I used one I don't remember in what scent and I've used a bar of this but these are fantastic huge bars of soap and at the time they were seven I believe I got a lot of them for half price or buy one get one we have blueberry vanilla and at the time these came out in this version of the shower gel we have strawberry banana pineapple papaya the raspberry, I don't know if they're calling that raspberry margarita or just raspberry, but it went with my raspberry margarita. Honeydew kiwi. And this one right here, this stress relief, I love this. Um, especially on those days when you feel dirty and grimy. And then, I only got this in the mango butter. I got the lotion in this um, form. And then I got the body butter. And I don't think I've touched this. I still got the tag on there. Let's see. Yep, everyone, I'm correct. I haven't touched it. It still smells good, too. So I'm going to pause for a minute and straighten some of this up. I tell you, I would not have thought I had that much stuff, and I still haven't found the body cream to my cup of warmth. So here we have uh, Moonlit Magic. I love this, but I did not like uh, Moonlit Path. I have one of these um, swirl creams and jingle all the way. This is Nita Margarita. There is a scrub to this if I don't have it out. Beach Breeze. I really like this and I was sorry that I didn't get the shower gel. We have the Just a Minute Scrub and the Glove Me Tender. This one they don't make anymore. Um, but I've given this with the Look Ma New Hands. They do still make this one. These two or these three, any of these two lotions and this is really good together. I have freshwater cucumber bubble bath and my freshwater cucumber body butter, which is something I was trying to target. Um, I have warm vanilla sugar body butter, twilight woods body butter, brown sugar and fig body butter, which if I use that for like maybe 10 or 12 days, I'll be finished with it and sensual amber body butter if anyone remembers this I got this last and I use it with one of my Ulta um, body butters or body creams and chocolate and this smells so good I found this after it was discontinued I know that year they came out with a blackberry amber and they came out with this one and another one and I missed out because I got that at a semi-annual sale Sea Island Cotton Cooling Spray this should be the um, Honey Sweetheart um, Perfume Spray. This is another one I like, Ocean Melon. It came out without any um, lotions or anything like that to go with it. Frosted Wonderland. Sea Island Cotton Hand Cream. My Gardenia Rain Hand Cream, which is a newer one. Let's see. I think I might have showed this. I might have picked this up by accident. That was my Golden Pineapple Luau. Cozy Autumn Vanilla, which smells a lot like, um, a little like fresh vanilla, but not completely. Mary Berry Christmas. Green Clover and Aloe, which I like to use with my Lever um, Cucumber Soap. Wild Honeysuckle Bubble Bath. Hello Sunshine. I only got this in the lotion and the spray. This is the Body Cream in True Blue Spa Unscented. And again, I got my Golden Pineapple Luau in the way. Here are some hand creams, and I just want you to see how the hand creams look compared to how they are today. These were $5, these are $4. They should have made these $2.50. Most of these hand creams my daughter got me one summer, summer before last. Um, I know that I bought this one, I bought these two, this one, and one of these. All the rest of these hand creams, my daughter came over and bought them to me in a bag when she went out to Bath and Body Works. So we have Caribbean Escape, Lemon Cello, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Fresh Tangerines, um, Beautiful Day, the Strawberry One, Pumpkin Cupcake, lots of vanilla buttercream, I love it. Wish, and that was Apple Fizz, Marshmallow, Pumpkin Latte, and that one. We have exotic coconut lotion I had the spray to that and I think I ended up giving it away at work sweet summer kisses the aloe gels that they had out then another lay it on thick you can tell I love it now these are Victoria's Secret but they're in here because they were with my Bath and Body Works stuff and Victoria's Secret bought Bath and Body Works so I got a snow mint body cream and a rich vanilla spray 
strawberry picnic I got that in the small version and strawberry spray I meant to give this to my daughter I'll probably spray it and see but I think I intended for her to have that the last of what I have here is my body creams we have the carried away that is the lotion and the glitter and you can have them separate or together we have sugar plum dream and snow kissed sugar I ended up liking that one velvet sugar I have used everything up but this body cream we have Mary marshmallow kiss Frosted Winter Woods because a lot of men were using this and once I got my hands on it and it dried down it smelled like a version of Honolulu Sun. The Lemon True Blue Spa. This I would have showed in like one of my latest hauls. I do want the Praline Cream in this size and probably that Peony one as well. And then here we have Dream Girl Daisy Dream Girl. This came out when I had my Honey Sweetheart Cream. I've used that up but I still have the bottle of Honey Sweetheart Spray in this size, which I cannot find. So this is everything that I could find from my Bath & Body Works collection. Still not everything, but I'm going to let this be the end of it because you guys are probably tired of seeing this by now. And I did not find my hand soaps with those body creams. The only other thing that I have is pocket backs. You've seen all of those as I've hauled them, but if anybody wants to see that, let me know and I will show those. That will be probably the last thing is those and holders that I have, but for the most part over the last couple of years, I've been hauling those in my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found some sense or maybe this made you think of sense that you've long forgotten that you'd like to try again. Until the next time, everyone have a great day.